Yeah, Logan, behind me here is a teachers union representing over 7,000 educators over various campuses at San Diego Unified. They feel, organizers here, that they are a huge reason as to why students are still in this hybrid learning form and lagging behind much of the rest of the country. Now, I wanted to get a clear sense of exactly what this hybrid learning even meant. That's why I spoke to a student today who steps us through it. It's not fun. It's not real school. Addison Basquez is a seventh grader at De Portola Middle School. Every morning at 9 a.m. the bell will ring and we go to our first class where we open our laptops and join our first period Zoom. She's describing hybrid learning where she's back two days a week, four hours a day. Then after that class is done, which is about an hour and 15 minutes or so, then we go into our next class and do the same thing. Then we go into our next class and do the same thing. It's a new hybrid world where educators, after surviving a year of COVID-19 teaching, are being asked to adapt their lesson plans yet again to address unique needs of both students in their classroom and those who are still distance learning. There's only six other people in the class with you in your biggest class. And she's teaching people who are at home, who are on a computer screen. So do you think it's just because of how overwhelming it would be to do both, to do both in person and have to teach online? I think that they could figure out a way to do different timings. This form of hybrid learning is what brought students, parents, and teachers here. Five days a week, five days a week. To this five rally, asking district leaders five to address ongoing concerns. What we, we want from the uh, school board and also the um, teachers union is for them to stop getting in the business of dictating to parents and students on how many days they're going to be in school. They really need to put the children first. They're not putting the children first and everybody knows that. The group wants students and teachers to have a choice whether they return or stay home. For advocates like Ellen Nash representing students in southeast San Diego. Our schools are in the red. Our kids are not getting adequately educated, even before COVID. This is an opportunity. Nash says it's an opportunity to help students who have struggled for years before they fall even further behind. SDEA and the San Diego Unified School Board need to make decisions in regards to District E students from an equity standpoint and not looking at it from business as usual. Our schools are not business as usual. A belief echoed by not only parents, advocates and teachers, but also students. I came here because going into the classroom to Zoom is not reopening. It's not the same thing as going in and learning. Yeah, and that's coming from a student actually living it. And they are citing CDC guidelines that outline the importance of having students back in a classroom by also saying that other school districts the same size as San Diego Unified have figured it out in other parts of the country. And that is a, another example as to how they can safely get back to school with teachers on campus and students in those desks and do that protecting everybody involved. And of course, this is something that has been evolving since the beginning. It's something we're going to have to continue watching as the school board and of course, as this teacher union hears backlash from so many. For now, reporting here live in Mission Valley, we'll send it back to you. Hunter, I know we heard from students and parents upset about this. Did we hear from any teachers at all? Yeah, Logan, I got to speak to teachers that were here today, and I mentioned this in the earlier hits. They did not feel comfortable going on camera because they know that these types of organizations are watching the media coverage very closely, and they outlined some of the other backlash they've gotten from other colleagues who have gone on and spoken about this. But they say that they were not even given the choice whether they wanted to return or stay home, that the one teacher I was specifically talking to, he's fully vaccinated. It was really important for him to get back in a classroom as soon as possible for his kids. And he says that because it didn't breach his contract, that the district never even gave him the choice. So, again, this is another uh, just glaring problem he says needs to be addressed. Logan. Interesting. Some teachers want to go back and they're being told they can't. Hunter Sourge live for us. Thanks, Hunter.